Welcome back to our Hack the Box series and today's action pack tutorial will explore Nmap, Responder, John the Ripper and Evil WinRM. With Nmap we will scan the network to discover open ports and identify vulnerabilities. Responder to help us intercept anti-LM authentication requests exploiting the file inclusion vulnerability. John the Ripper to crack the hash password obtained with Responder and finally we'll use Evil WinRM to establish remote access to the compromised host. Remember to always use these tools ethically and with proper authorization. And as usual, keep in mind that this video is for educational purposes only. With that said and out of the way, let's dive into today's video. As we can see highlighted here on screen, we have an Apache server running on port 80 and this is a Windows machine. Since this is a web server, I'm going to copy the IP address and paste it into Firefox to see what web page loads up. I will load also the developer tools on Firefox so we can see exactly what is going on and I will enable as well persistent logging. With that said, I'm just going to paste in the IP address into the address bar and hit enter. As you may have noticed in the address bar, there's no longer the IP address, but a URL. This means that the web server is not listening on the IP address, but it's doing a redirect to the URL in question. I skimmed through the headers and other information that we have in the developer tools in the network section but there doesn't seem to be anything interesting over here so what we're going to do next is we're going to add a host file entry and point that particular domain which is unica.htb to the IP address we have. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the host file with v and we will add the, the record as shown here. In order to add an entry here, we're going to go to the bottom of the file, insert a fresh line and paste in the IP address, then tab and insert the host name. Then we can escape WQ exclamation mark to save the file and we're out of there. I will also ping the domain name here to confirm that the record is added properly. And as we can see here, it uh, managed to resolve without any issues. With that done, I'm just going to open up the browser and I'm just going to head over to the web page to see if it loads up. And as we can see, I just pasted in the IP address and it redirected me again, but this time I am able to load up the web page. After some time poking around on this particular web page, I didn't find anything like extremely suspicious. And I noticed that when uh, when you click on the web pages, it takes you to different portions of the of the web page itself except for when you click on the languages and this seems to be like the foothold over here by noticing the url we can see that the french or german page is being loaded by the page parameter which may potentially be vulnerable to lfi vulnerability if the page is not sanitized properly an lfi or a local file inclusion occurs when an attacker is able to get a website to include a file that was not intended to be an option for this application a common example is when an application uses the path to a file as an input. If the application treats this input as trusted and the required sanity checks are not performed on this input, the attacker can uh, navigate through folders like go to the parent folder and so on and retrieve files which weren't supposed to be included in the website. Alright, with that explanation out of the way, um, what I was doing in the meantime, I was downloading Responder, a Python tool that is uh, capable of harvesting credentials through a man-in-the-middle attack. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the website and we're going to exploit uh, the inclusion and get the web server to communicate with our Responder Python tool to get a file from it and try to authenticate against it. Since this application has been downloaded from GitHub, I am going to review the configuration file to ensure that, that it suits our needs. And as we can see, all the servers are going to be started, so we should be covered here. In order to start up the responder, we will need the interface name and uh, the IP address as well. So I'm going to go for if config and retrieve all the details from here. In this particular case, our tunnel interface is TAN0 and the IP address is 10.10.15.73. We need to run Responder on Python 3 with elevated privileges, so we're going to run it as uh, root. And we need to specify the interface with hyphen I capital TAN0 in this case. And press enter. Once Responder is up, we're going to go back to the website and we're going to manipulate the inclusion file parameter so we're going to use page equals double forward slash and the IP address of our uh, node that is hosting responder 
with regards to the IP address, we can grab the IP address of the tunnel interface that we have mentioned earlier, paste it in here and type in anything following the IP address. Now we can head back to the terminal and as we can see over here, we have the hash. I am going to quickly exit out of responder and I'm just going to paste in the hash into a file that we can use with John the Ripper and then obviously try to brute force the password. I am going to use the rockyou uh, text file which contains uh, a load of passwords so this should handle our needs. As we can see over here, the password has been already cracked. Um, uh, in this case, the username is administrator, as we could see from above, and the password is badminton. Since we managed to obtain the admin credentials, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, launch evil WinRM. Uh, the reason I am choosing this is because the port of uh, WinRM is open on the host, so this should work with our target. I am going to grab the IP address of the target machine over here and paste it in here like this. We will also need to specify the username with dash u, administrator in this case, and dash p and the password which is badminton, the password that we have discovered earlier. And as we can see over here, we managed to authenticate and uh, log on to the remote machine. It took me some time to manage to find the flag on this particular machine, but it was under a different user rather than the administrator, which is named Mike, and it was on his desktop, the only folder under his profile. Now, since we managed to obtain the flag, we're just going to go ahead and switch to the Hack the Box portal so we can finalize this challenge. For the first question, we need to provide the domain name. We can get it obviously from the URL we have managed to access before. The scripting language that is used on the server to generate web pages is PHP. The URL parameter which is used to load different pages is page. An example of an LFI vulnerability can be as the one selected over here. For the example of an RFI, we can refer to today's um, vulnerability. It's uh, the IP address followed by some file. So yeah, let's just copy and paste that here. NTLM stands for New Technology LAN Manager. Which flag do we use for uh, the responder utility? It's dash capital I. The tool we used earlier to brute force the password was uh, John the Ripper, and I believe this is what we're referring to. What is the administrator password? It was badminton. We can refer to the uh, terminal output and uh, just copy and paste it here. In order to access remotely the Windows machine, we're going to refer to the Nmap scan carried out earlier and the port is going to be 5985. And now for the final question, we can get the root flag from the terminal. We can just copy and paste it here like this. And that is all for this challenge. Well done if you followed along. It's been a longer than usual one today, but we managed to successfully do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.